A work week is typically Monday to Friday. That's what it typically is for most business owners. If you're in retail world or if you're in a dealership world, it's uh, Sunday to Friday. It's Sunday to Saturday. It's nonstop. If you're in a retail environment or if you're in a uh, sometimes even professional services environment, it is a full seven days a week. Someone's on call. Someone's available. Someone's staff in the office. But in most environments, a normal work week is five days, Monday to Friday. And in most environments, and a lot of clients I deal with, and even in our own office from time to time, Friday, people confuse Friday with fun day. And Friday is not meant to be fun day, folks. Friday is meant to be a productive day in your world. So the way I look at Friday is that, and I've said this before, and folks that work with me know this, that Friday is 20% of your work week. And I think owners get challenged, especially in the summertime, with how to hold people accountable to be productive on Friday. And it needs to start with ownership being productive on Friday. So if you're the owner of your business and you're bugging out every Friday at 1 o'clock because you think you've earned the right, I'm going to tell you that the rest of the people in your world are going to slow down. And if, they, if they're not slowing down, they've actually quit for the day. They think that it's okay because you've done it. So if that's what you chose and that's how you want your environment to be, that Friday is just, we're going to pack it in, we're going to do a half a day, and everybody's going to be okay, well, then that's your choice. You need to understand that. But what you got to say to yourself is you're paying for a 40-hour work week, a 30-hour work week, a 45-hour work week. That's what you're paying for. What are you getting for it? Are you getting, you're paying for 40 and you're getting 30? You're paying for 35 and you're getting 28? Well, shame on you if that's what you're doing. So a couple of suggestions to make Friday productive because Friday represents 20% of your, of your available time. So a couple of suggestions. Um, make sure tasks are scheduled in advance for everybody, including yourself, including yourself. So if you want to be an absentee owner, then someone needs to be in charge to act on your behalf and lead the way the business should be led, okay? So every business needs a captain. Every sports team needs a captain, right? Every uh, a political environment, someone's in charge. There's someone that is guiding and setting the direction and the tone. And if you want to bug out on Fridays, then you're going to be bugging out more than that. And that's not healthy because that I'm going to tell you, you're going to get what you give as an owner. But I think that one of the things you can do is schedule tasks in advance so everyone knows how they're going to be held accountable for five days in a week not for three and a half not for four and a half not for four and a quarter for five days in a week second thing is that if you emphasize the effort that's required to achieve the goal that you need and you offer some type of incentive to go along with that people will be more productive but they got to be enjoying what they're doing it can't just be grueling on Friday afternoon because while the world is trying to wind down you're making people do stuff that's foreign to them Next thing is invest in your folks, and how to do that is by sharing your business plan with them. Invest in your folks, show them what you're trying to accomplish and why, so that they're excited about doing what you need. And finally, incentivize as appropriate. Don't be afraid to incentivize your people. It is well worth the time and money. So here's what we do at American Management on Fridays. Um, we try to be little friendlier, kinder maybe, whatever the words are. So we host breakfast for everybody on a Friday morning everybody so someone brings in breakfast every friday morning and we host it and then second thing we try to do is we have a professional casual environment during the work week right and what i mean by that is we just allow no no ties okay no sport jackets no ties but i want people to dress with the proper decorum um uh, but on fridays i let them wear jeans we can wear polo shirts it's allow people to dress down a little bit less just to feel like they're getting ready to work into the weekend and then from time to time we will rotate and let people have off a couple hours early on a Friday and we do that with our administrative staff and we let people rotate in and out of doing that so we try to make Friday a little more pleasant for folks however our work hours on Friday are the same as every other day eight to six because our people travel all around the country every day they don't do that travel all around the country four days out of the week they travel around the country five days out of the week so that's how we try to hold people accountable on friday and i have some clients that have become very good friends of mine that i know i can't reach them on friday afternoon shame on you you're out of your mind shame on you make friday a productive day please and that doesn't mean sitting on the back of your boat with your ipad in your hand that is not a productive day that's you google and schmoogle and whatever is out there that's a waste of time did you ever read that uh four-hour work week by Tim Ferriss? Yeah, I hated it. Yeah, I thought you would. I hated every minute of it. Do you think it's possible to be successful with four hours a week or five hours a week? I think I it's, already know the answer. Uh, well, I think it's, it's I, see, I actually think it's possible to be successful with anything, with anything. But 
we want employees that have a role and a function in in part in executing our business plan. That's not going to happen on four or five hours a week. It's just not going to happen because stuff happens outside of your four or five hours. It just happens. There's there's the world. It happens, and you just if you're not on call or on standby, it's like when it's like back in the days when they would guard the castle, right? And they guarded the castle from eight in the morning to noontime. And, and the warriors didn't come and attack, the Huns didn't come and attack the castle by noontime. Did they all go to sleep in the afternoon because they guarded it from 8 to 12? Of course they didn't. It's got to be 24-7. Business is 24-7. That doesn't mean you have to be the guy at 24-7 all the time. But if you're going to have a team and that team's going to be productive to executing your goal and your target and your plan, and they're part of that execution so they can live in it and be rewarded for it, where the hell does four or five hours come from? If I need four or five hour help, I'll go hire a consultant for four or five hours. I want people. I want employees. I want team members. I want them to be part of what we're doing. All that stuff is just its good fodder to write a book. Okay, so make Friday a productive day. Again, I say this all the time. If you're not sure how to do that, give me a call, 800-743-0410. Thank you.